What's up guys? So I've kept Venom mistakes before, I've handled Venom mistakes before, and um, it's, it's very much a thrill. It's one of the, I guess, not scary feelings. Um, I get scared when I go up on heights, but when I'm working with animals, I don't really have a fear of like, I'm gonna lose my life. But what does kind of spook me out is working with other people's venomous animals or just other people's animals in general. It's just like when someone says, oh my dog doesn't bite, it's just a Like, no, 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 no. I, I don't trust it until I see it. But that's besides the point. Today's video, man, we're going to be going over to help a friend of a friend. My friend Jalil has a friend who needs some help moving some enclosures around. Um, and a lot of his uh, animals, his snakes, are uh, venomous. And so we're going to be helping him shift those around. And uh, we actually left with a little gift at the end. And so I'm excited for you guys to watch this video. Hopefully you enjoy. But before we head on over to uh, hang out with some venomous animal, well, venomous snakes, we're gonna hang out with our venomous lizard, uh, Avocado here, who is just always a ball of joy. If you guys did not know, um, Monder Lizard, she is all over my, uh, she's all over my camera here. Uh, Monder, and there she goes again. Um, you know what? Let's just do this here, Avocado. Let's do this here. Let's do this here. Monitor lizards are have a mild um, potent of venom, um, and they secrete the venom from the bottom of their uh, their, their, their their mouth there. And um, yeah, it's not really harmless to uh, to humans. I'm gonna watch what she's doing. It's not really harmless to humans. Uh, it more so just kind of uh, forces. Uh, you to kind of bleed uh, more than normal. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what monitor lizards can do, uh, which is awesome. So yeah, they do have a little bit of venom in them, but like, it's not like your uh, potent snakes that can just kill you and drop you in a matter of minutes. Now, uh, this will probably give you like a, you know, allergic reaction or something like that. You might swell up a little bit. There's been different reports. Some people have had more um, severe uh, reactions than others. Some have had no reaction at all. And so um, I've never been bit. My girlfriend has been bit, uh, which was uh, actually kind of funny. But she took that like a G as she is because she's a trooper, you know. And so, uh, yeah. But we're going to be hanging out with some very very toxic snakes today that uh, can kill you within minutes. And so I just want to preface this video by saying, do not copy what I am doing or anyone in this video is doing or whatever you see in any video per se. People say, oh, they're professionals and all this other stuff. Holy smokes, girl. You are just a daredevil. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna be cleaning up before we head out. I am so glad she did that on the floor and not on me. Let's get you back in your enclosure, girl. We've gotta clean that up. But again, do not repeat what you see in this video because it can, it can cost you your life. Um, and so more so watch and don't do. And if you do decide to do it, make sure you use caution, make sure you use your brain and be safe, respect these animals because they can take your life as well as you can take their life by stressing them out and we don't want that. But let's hop into today's video and let's clean this mess up. You are gross. Her and the rhino, that password, that sounds like oh, my first shit. one of So literally, I've had her. So 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 four years. You should have saw that rhino, man. The rhino that he had, it's gorgeous. He got it frozen, but it's still whole, it's still held, like it's loose. still got it down there? Yeah. It's gorgeous. That's sick. So, rhino, or rhinos, kaboons, are very... Keep your fucking face away, bitch. Thank you. Kaboons are very, very heavy bodied. So what you guys are doing with the cobras, yeah. you can't do with them. Okay. She's just being fecky. Thanks. Okay. They're very, very heavy bodied. So like holding them on the tail and doing that, that's putting too much weight on the ribs. Yeah. So with them, whenever you see people don't, you'll see people doing this shit, holding them a little bit more up. They can flip their heads backwards, but very rare. 
and they are very fast at sideways strike. That's why whenever you pick them up and shit, which I try not to pick them up in the air too much, I get them up here so they the hook, the hook on both sides, see how it kind of prevents them from going too much sideways? Right. That way it does that. But even this to me is too much of a weight distribution, so I personally like getting about halfway up. That looks so good. And that sun. I'm gonna flip it out. That sun. Ooh, wee, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. So nice. Size of my fist. Then you notice in the tongue flakes that we were talking about? Yeah. My sideways. Oh, sideways? Reset. That'll definitely get you ready for like okay, doing this shit. Do not do me. I felt her, her. I braced her. Okay. Yeah. But you'll see people that don't know what they're doing will grab this and put this around their neck. I defriended oh, somebody during that posting that shit. I've also defriended people because they're going up, grabbing them up by their head. Like I would not go any closer. This is already too much to me because I'm too close to no fuck that. Yeah. But, it's one of those things where everybody's like, I know my animal. I know that it, you still don't want to take too much of a risk. Yeah. You know? Hey, I need some help. Hey, get back here. Like, you just gotta let her fucking go. That's so down, man. sick, man. Wow. Mm hmm. <laughs> the arm band. Arm accessory. Yeah. Blood pressure monitor. So I can pop it open. My bed. Fuck you. Yes. I don't have my hat to actually fuck with you, but. Puffy, puffy, pissy while it's in. You see when I had it out, what I would do. Yeah. They're very, Seems a lot these are scary. very, yeah. yeah, these are very similar to, say, colubrids. Okay. So wiry, not all corn snakes and shit. These are a lap, it's just like corn snakes. You're basically even. Shut up. You pee, you stink. Pussy uh, strong. Woo. Okay, a few things when you mess with cobras. Damn. Damn. You do not. My hand with her tail, you do not let her wrap her tail around you. Fully. That looks fine. Shit, I'm doing is just kind of a watch. I can't really explain it over that. Like, I can see where she's going. I can whip her around and it not be a problem. I can make, like, it takes a while to understand shit. You can make them go where you want to in a sense. Okay. Do, doing this is fine, but I can move my hand out of that hole. Yeah. If she wraps you, she can use the force of whip around. Okay. So you could drop her at any given moment. Yeah. If need so be. like that, that's fine. Okay. But I'm trying to let her feel a little bit secure, let her get like, chilled out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're attracted to movement, right? Hmm? Are they attracted to movement? In a sense. Ooh. She mainly wants to run. She doesn't care about us. Mm -hmm. We're not hurting her. We're not bothering her. She wants to run. Right. But there's a lot of smells down here. I don't ever have her out anymore. She needs to go outside with me a lot. So, you see that hook? Yep. Yeah. Hook. She's always going to stay running. You can always do what I'm about to do. Literally get a hook under her, get her, just don't get her that close up like I'm doing. Hook her, get about right there, sit it under because she thinks, you know, whatever, it's, whatever she's on, she doesn't know it's something that could hurt her, like me doing this. See how I'm touching her back and she's like, yeah, <laughs> instantly hood it up. So, when you do it with all snakes, put your hand under what's already there and she's just trying to grab on. Then, 
She is going to try forcing her body through this hook to get somewhere. You have to re put her down, re hook her, and she's going to try moving. I'm using this hook to try holding her right now. So she's going to stay going forward. You only get to hold her up for a few seconds and you got your re hook again. Shut up. <laughs> That's so sick. Like, see how she is around my wrist? Yeah. yeah. That's about as much as you should have. She can, should never wrap fully around and touch her own tail. Okay. That's why I'm holding her with my finger on her back so she can't. So in a sense, once you get your hand there, never let that spot go. I've seen that bitch. She's trying to bite my shoe. There you go. There you go. Do you want to try it all before she goes up? Yeah. guys we have made it home as you can see it has been officially about two weeks now since i've had our baby gaboon viper <laughs> um in that last clip that you saw i had never i've never in my life handled <clears throat> a cobra before and that was a thrill that I've never, ever, ever in my life thought that I would ever feel before. Um, it was an amazing feeling. Um, it was a, a thing that I've never in my life thought I would ever do. Um, and like I mentioned towards the beginning of this video, you know, don't go out doing the same thing. You know, you have to have a passion for it. You have to have a respect for it to even want to come in contact with the venomous snake and even a reptile in general, you have to love it. You can't just do it because you're being peer pressured into it. And so that was not the case at all um, during this video. Um, it was all free willing. Uh, you know, my friend and Jalil, I mean, my friend Jalil and I wanted to, um, we wanted to try it out and it was really, really cool. And, you know, Cobras are definitely something that I would love to uh, one day own and be able to, you know, work with personally. Um, so it was cool to get that practice, but here we have uh, our baby gaboon. Most of the venomous snakes that I've worked with are uh, rattlesnakes. Um, I've worked with uh, some of your more, uh, I guess, placid animals, um, uh, 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 copperheads, work with those, I've kept those. Rattlesnakes, I've worked with those, kept those. Um, but nothing ever as crazy exotic as a cobra and so that was a lot of fun um but on to now uh as a as a gift or as a token of his appreciation the guy who we were helping um and i don't want to name drop him because he asked that we not you know share him and everything which i respect that um he decided to uh give us a baby gaboon because he uh, had bred some and we got to meet um i believe the mother um of uh this baby here and so i don't have a name for it yet but i used to have a baby gaboon viper that i ended up giving away um a little while ago uh i just wasn't really in the it's a, it's a huge responsibility to keep venomous uh, reptiles you know you need to know what uh anti-venom is out there for you need to know uh precaut you know uh steps to take um if if and you know if you get bit i'm gonna say when you get bit um but if you get bit you need to know how to take care of yourself um, and not only take care of yourself, but tell the doctors how to take care of you because these are exotic animals. And so um, our local doctors and nurses and whatever typically don't know how to or aren't educated on how to handle um, uh, uh, exotic uh, species. And so no fault to them. You have to be uh, responsible and care for yourself. Um, and so I just wasn't really looking into that and having monitors is a whole feat in itself but gaboon vipers are very placid very calm animals um for the most part they just sit here they're ambush predators and so they just kind of sit here and i don't know if you can hear it or not but they make like this huffing and puffing sound like they're like a kind of how you heard the uh the cobra there making all that noise they uh gaboon vipers kind of do the same thing and it 
just like that. And I don't want to uh, irritate the, the, the snake too much, but that's what they do. And so, um, you know, it's cool. Like, it's, it's cool to have this animal. They're very placid, very chill. Um, and my friend Jalil has quite a bit of these. And so he's been kind of coaching me up on, you know, how to care for it properly and, um, you know, go about it that way. And so it's been really awesome. Um, so this, uh, this hook that I have is way too big for her right now. These are heavy body snakes. This is the heaviest, um, heaviest venomous snake in the venomous world. Uh, they also have uh, the world's longest fangs, um, getting up to about uh, two, two and a half inches long. Um, as you can imagine, they have a huge venom yield um, and their venom is very, very toxic. Uh, so you don't want to get bit by one of these guys. Um, or gals in this sense, but they're just gorgeous snakes, man. And I'm excited to, uh, you know, show her off on the channel, watch her grow. I can't wait for her to get big. Um, when they get bigger, you do have to um, kind of freehand a little, little bit to hold that body weight or purchase yourself some um, large uh, flat, like this hook is not gonna be good for her whenever, oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> this hook is not gonna be good for her whenever she gets bigger because it's too sharp on the rib. And so they have, imagine this hook, but like wire and it's flat. And so it allows, it's almost like the cuff of a hand. You know, some people might say, you know, that's not safe. Still, you know, they require that you put your hands on it, but it's all about your comfort level. Um, and again, you know, venomous snakes are not for the novice. They're not for someone who's gonna, <clears throat> you know, act irresponsibly. Um, and so if you do go down the route of getting venomous snakes, make sure that you know what you're doing, make sure that you're being cautious, make sure that you are being responsible and knowing how to care for yourself or someone else, you know, uh, you know, out of the terrible situation that someone gets bit, know what you're doing, know how to cure it. Um, and uh, yeah, but without further ado, we're gonna call it wraps on this video. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And um, as always, be sure to go after all your goals and your dreams. Godspeed to whatever you're doing. And uh, I love you guys, spread love, not hate. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ooh wee, she is gorgeous. You're gorgeous, girl. <laughs> if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and consider giving this video a like. As always, God loves you and so do I. Spread love, not hate.